hello guys i hope you are doing really really well in today's video we are going to talk about the aesthetic settings in samsung galaxy tab s8 plus so guys the first setting is related to the wallpaper you can use an app name of the app is pinterest so i open the pinterest and here it will show you different type of wallpapers okay if you want you can use this search icon just select this search okay and here you can type wallpaper okay and then it will bring out for you different type of wallpapers okay so you can see over here there are different wallpapers available and on this side we have different categories so for example i select the background okay so once you select the background it is showing you different uh, hd wallpapers okay so you can see over here and then for example you like any wallpaper from here so if you like this wallpaper so i select it okay so here you can save this wallpaper or you can use the smart select option so i select this icon over here and then simply i use the smart select option for example i like uh, this wallpaper i go over here i use the smart select tool and then i can select this wallpaper like that okay and then simply i can download it okay so this is the wallpaper i can simply download it and it will save into gallery now simply i go to my files now the wallpaper is over here so i just select it okay and i just open it okay so here is my wallpaper i just select these three dots and then i set it as wallpaper okay so you can see set as wallpaper for home and lock screen okay so i use it uh, for home and lock screen i set on lock and home screen over here i just press it and this wallpaper set to my home screen okay and now if i go back so you can see over here this is how it looks like now the second setting which is really important is the widget setting okay so you can tap and hold on your screen anywhere on your screen like this okay and then you will see this widget option available over here so you just select it once you select it will give you different option for widgets okay so a lot of option available over here so the first widget that i will select is the weather widgets okay so i go down here is the weather and here is the arrow okay so if you select this arrow it will show you four different type of weather widgets so whichever you like you can select for example uh, i like this one okay and then you see uh, this add icon, uh, icon just press it okay so i set this widget and it is looking like this now i want to bring it to my main screen so i just press and hold it like this okay and i just scroll it okay you can see over here i am just scrolling it and i bring it to my main screen like this now we can do a lot with this widget as well so simply just press and hold it like that okay so i press and hold it you see small window will open okay and here you see the settings icon just select it and here you can change the background color so i want to make it like this color okay and if you want you can make it black or white so i make it black like that okay and i set to this color and then i simply save it okay so now it looks like this and if you want to make it little smaller you can also do it like this okay so it will be looking amazing like that now let's move to the second widgets okay so i just press and hold like this select the widgets option and here again we have different widgets option so this time i go for the clock so here you see this is the clock widgets i simply select this arrow from here you see there are different options available for the clock so let's say i like this one okay so i just select it and i press add okay so now you see this widget has been added again i will do i will press and hold it and i move to my home screen like this okay and i put it over here okay and now if you want to change the color of this widget you can do it i just simply press and hold just go to the settings okay and here you see you can make it black or white so i make it black like this and here you have different style available for example like this one this style okay so you can see so like this one different styles available so uh, i select this one i like this one then i press save so this is how it looks like uh, then i will move to the next widgets okay again i go over here and then uh, this time i go for the digital well-being okay so i just select it 
and here uh, I select any of these for example I select this one which is, uh, which is showing me the screen time and the apps that I'm using so I select it and then I press add and then this will come over here and then again I just simply scroll it okay and I move it to my home screen like this okay and for this one I don't want to change anything I like this uh, white uh, in this, this white color and now let's move to the uh, Samsung note speed get okay so which is important for me so I just go over here and then I select the Samsung notes okay so this is the Samsung notes so here are different type of widgets available I select this one and I press add and this one also come over here and then simply I can move it to my home screen okay so this is how the widgets had been set okay now what you can do is you can bring your favorite apps over here as well but first I will make this Google search a little smaller like that so here I can put my favorite apps so simply I can drag any of the app for example I select the Samsung notes I press and hold it like this okay so I press and hold I select it and then I select this word okay and uh, then I select this uh, Google Docs okay and uh, then I select this Zodo okay and then simply what I can do is I just press and hold them and I just simply put it like this okay so you can see it come over here I move my um, this clock over here and then I press this word over here so this is how you can bring your favorite apps uh, on this side now uh, I will show you how you can change the font style okay so for the font style you just go to the settings okay once you enter into the settings you can uh, see the option of display okay so once you enter into the display you will see the option of font size and style okay so just select font size and style okay so we have font style default okay we have different options over here so you can select any option for example I like this Joko cookie I just select it and this will look like that I can change the font size as well so if you want to make it little bigger you can make it for example I want to make it like this bigger so everything is done now if I go back you can see the font has been changed okay and here the fonts also change okay so you can see on this the font also changed if you want to bring more changes to your tablet you can also do it again just press and hold and you see the settings option just select it and here you have home screen layout option so for example if you select home screen layout you can select home and app screen okay it will look like this but I like home screen only so I go for the home screen only option then we have home screen grid okay so we have different options 6 by 5 8 by 5 and 10 by 5 so for example I select this 8 by 5 and then I save it so this will look like that you can add more apps over here okay so for example uh, if I want to select these sheets I press and hold I select it and then I select reminder and the calculator okay and uh, the add of acrobat and then I simply press and hold to one and then I bring it to my main screen and then I can simply put it over here so this will come over here like that uh, and guys you can also uh, create a folder and in one folder you can add uh, different apps for example I press and hold like this I select it okay and uh, then I select clip studio and then you see this option of create folder appear on top I just select it and they go in the folder and then simply I can move this folder to my uh, home screen as well guys you can also pin your favorite apps on this side okay uh, from the uh, edge panel so for example if I take out this edge panel from side and then we have different apps over here that you want to pin uh, to the home screen you can also do it so you just see these three lines over here just select them and then we have the pin option over here this is the pin button so you just select them so all your favorite apps will appear over here and when you open any app for example I open this Google Docs these apps will remain over here so this is really amazing and it looks very cool over here as well uh, so guys this is for today's video I hope you like the video I hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much